Good day to you all, students and faculty. My name is Vina Cardinal Flooney. Uh, let us pray to our Creator. Um, in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, there has been many challenges facing this year's graduation classes. I pray, we pray for our graduates that are, uh, will be filled with your courage and strength, that they may be a light to their families, their friends, their neighbors in this uncertain time. Uh, Creator, we have given them, you have given them many tasks you wish them to do here on earth. When the, when the load gets heavy, help them to remember you are just a thought away. Um, may we count our blessings and let you, Great Spirit, whisper in our ear what, what we need to hear to get through this difficult times. We pray especially for comfort, peace of mind, and great, greater understanding for the graduates. Um, you all have completed another, another major step in reaching your goals. Congratulations to you all. As an elder, I am very proud of all of you. It warms my heart to be here today as you all enter into the next chapter in the book of life. Thank you, Creator. Hi, hi. Thank you, Elder Vina Flooney, for that opening prayer. Hello, friends, family, dignitaries, and our graduates. In a time unlike any other, it is only fitting that our convocation celebrations are unlike they have ever been before. This year, we're celebrating our class of 2020 and 2021 over the next three days, as we are unable to host all of you on campus. Though we're celebrating the accomplishments of our most recent graduating class remotely, the pride and excitement we feel for our students is anything but virtual. Lakeland's first class of 34 students began in the fall of 1913. And despite closures over the war years, the depression, the flu pandemic, the institution has prospered and grown to serve approximately 6,400 students annually. These past two years add another intriguing chapter to Lakeland's storied past. But today is about celebrating our latest graduates. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the land on which Lakeland stands. Treaties are formal agreements negotiated between two or more sovereign nations. Today we acknowledge and honour the Treaty 6 signings of September 9, 1876. This treaty was an agreement between the Dominion of Canada on behalf of the Queen of Great Britain and the First Nations groups from the Cree, Soto, Nakoda and Dene people. All people live, living within the territory of Treaty 6 are beneficiaries of a coexistence between First Nations people and Canada. The spirit, intent, and provisions of the treaties last forever, as long as the sun shines, the grass grows, and the rivers flow. Please join me in welcoming today's dignitaries and speakers. Elder Mrs. Vina Flooney, Knee Cardinal, Distinguished Citizen for Vermilion Campus, Richard Starkey, our Piper, Lisa Beveridge, and the drummers. 
From Lakeland College, please welcome the Chair of our Board of Governors, Scott Webb, our President and CEO, Dr. Alice Wainwright-Stewart, and our Vice President of External Relations and Infrastructure, Georgina Altman. I am Michael Crow, Vice President, Academic and Research, and it is my honour to celebrate Lakeland College's graduating class of 2020 and 2021 with you today. I would now like to welcome Scott Webb, Chair of Lakeland College's Board of Governors, to the podium to say a few words. Thank you, Mike, and thank you for inviting me to address our graduates. Graduates, when you chose Lakeland, you chose to join a legacy that spans back over 100 years, a legacy of educational excellence, innovation, and learning that is part of the very foundation of Lakeland College. We have always prided ourselves in doing our very best to equip our graduates with the skills they need to succeed beyond our classrooms. Working alongside industry, we have made it our mission to give our students every possible tool we can to help them find their way. Whether it's the technical skills they need to showcase on the job or the soft skills they need to thrive there. For the graduates we are celebrating here today, you are graduating with all of those skills and more. Though many graduates have walked these halls, your journey has truly been something new and unprecedented, something that took a great amount of dedication, resilience, and focus. Your ability to accept and adapt to change will serve you so well in the future. It is my privilege to be the first to offer my congratulations on this momentous milestone. Congratulations. Allow me to introduce this year's honorary citizen for Vermilion Campus, Dr. Richard Starkey. After establishing two successful veterinary practices, Richard went on to support and advocate for his community on both the municipal and provincial levels. He served as the youngest counselor ever for the city of Lloydminster, and provincially he served as MLA for Vermilion Lloydminster. Please welcome Dr. Richard Starkey. Let me begin by expressing my profound thanks to the Lakeland College Board of Governors for this prestigious honor. The list of previous honorees reads like a Canadian who's who. Olympian Becky Scott, former Premier Ed Stelmack, culinary genius Jean Perret, Vermilion icons like Judy Wojwitka and John Stewart, and two of my personal mentors whom we recently lost, the Right Honorable Don Mazankowski and former Lloydminster Mayor Bill Condro. To be included with such an august group of individuals is humbling and I am most grateful. Recipients of this designation are always invited to address the convocation ceremony. Now, people who know me may find it surprising that I struggled with what I would say. This ceremony is a touchstone event for two years worth of Lakeland graduates and for the people who supported them in their studies. And in these unprecedented times, it is being celebrated in a way that was unthinkable when we last gathered in 2019. And so I struggled deciding on a singular message for this virtual gathering. What could I say that would ring true and provide you with even a tiny measure of advice going forward? So here it is. You are all leaders. Armed with the knowledge and experience you've gained during your Lakeland journey, you will be leaders in your chosen fields. Now, I have had the opportunity both to lead and to be led, and there's a singular characteristic that determines effective leadership, integrity. 
Leaders who have it build lasting legacies, be it in business, education, politics, culture, or community service. Leaders who lack integrity inevitably fail. History has taught us this lesson, and it is one more kernel of wisdom you can take with you from your time at Lakeland College. British author C.S. Lewis has defined integrity as doing what is right even when nobody is watching. Ultimately, integrity is about making choices, choosing your words and actions based not on personal gain, but on your values, choosing courage over comfort, choosing what is right over what is easy or convenient, and choosing to practice your values rather than simply professing them. Integrity and leadership means setting out a vision, one that motivates, inspires, and calls to action. Leaders know the great achievements come about from teamwork, but that team must be led. No country, no business, no organization has ever been managed out of a difficult situation. They always be, have been led. Leaders with integrity create and clearly communicate a vision that is so viscerally compelling that they don't have to push their followers. The vision they share pulls them along. Integrity means extolling right, but also calling out that which is wrong. If you find yourself in a room full of people that has decided on a course of action you believe is wrong, integrity means raising your lone voice and saying, people, this is wrong. President John F. Kennedy, addressing Canada's Parliament 60 years ago this month, used the words of Edmund Burke to remind us, the only thing necessary for evil to succeed is for good men to do nothing. Integrity also means recognizing when you're not on the right team. Now, our parents taught us you're judged by the company you keep. And as a veterinarian, I like the variant, you lay down with dogs, you get up with fleas, also ticks, lice, mange, and various other unwelcome critters. Now, on some teams, change can be initiated from within. But when that's not possible, it's time to leave, even if that means personal cost to you. And that takes courage. I can think of no better example than German theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffer. In the 1930s, Hitler's Nazis co-opted the German Lutheran Church to serve the tyranny of the Third Reich. But Bonhoeffer refused to cooperate. He would not join that team. As he said, when one has boarded the wrong train, it does no use running along the corridor in the other direction. Bonhoeffer's brave resistance cost him his life, and a month after he was executed, Germany surrendered. Bonhoeffer was a man of integrity. Now, the challenges you will face will probably pale in comparison to those of Dietrich Bonhoeffer, but make no mistake, you too will be faced with challenges and you will have to make hard decisions. My message to you today, graduates of Lakeland College, is to be leaders with integrity, always, even when it is hard. Keep striving ever to excel and let your integrity show the world you are living the learning you've gained at Lakeland College. Once again, my sincere thanks to the Board of Governors for this tremendous honor, and I wish all of the classes of 2020 and 2021 every success in your future endeavors. I'd now like to welcome Georgina Altman, Vice President of External Relations and Infrastructure to the podium. In 1935-36, John Moore of Tofield became the first second-generation alumnus to attend our college. His father, Earl, was a member of the first graduating class of the Vermilion School of Agriculture. In the yearbook, it states, we are glad to welcome the first representative of the second generation into our midst, and I know that he is a forerunner of many more. Since John, we have celebrated many second, third, and even fourth generation graduates who have identified as proud generational alumni. And this year, I know we will celebrate even more. Welcoming all of you to our alumni family is a great honor that I proudly share with our Lakeland team. Together, you share the unique experience of completing your post-secondary education during a pandemic. Rest assured, you will forever hold a special place in the history of Lakeland College. 
With your Lakeland experience, I am confident you've all learned the value of lifelong learning. I encourage you to consider the relationships you've established at Lakeland the start of your professional network. Stay connected with your fellow alumni. Support and inspire one another. Together, I know you will accomplish great things. I can't wait to see where your education passion and determination takes you. And I look forward to connecting with all of you at a future alumni reunion, of course, when it's safe to do so. Lakeland's legacy is its incredible alumni. Welcome to the family. And now, allow me to call upon Dr. Alice Wainwright-Stewart, President and CEO of Lakeland, to address today's graduates. At Lakeland, we've always said that one of our goals is to teach our students to be strong, adaptable, and resilient. To send our graduates out into the world ready to make a difference and leave an impact. I don't think that has been ever as true as it is today when speaking to this special group of graduates. You've not only managed to complete your studies while faced with extraordinary circumstances of this changing time, you've managed to thrive. Convocation is always such a joyous time for me. I get to graduate, I get to congratulate the newest members of our alumni family and wish them well as they finish their journey here at Lakeland. But this year, Convocation is another opportunity for me. It's an opportunity to thank you. Thank you for choosing Lakeland College. Thank you for changing with us. Thank you for trusting us in your education. Thank you for continuing to trust us when the world changed around us. We have all done our best to change with it. To all the graduates, I want you to know how proud I am of your achieving these milestones. And now that you've made it this far, I know that there isn't anything that can stop you from achieving your dreams. Congratulations, everyone. All the best. Now, please welcome our deans to present to graduates. Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Brown. I'm the Dean of Environmental Sciences here at Lakeland College. First of all, I'd like to wish you a congratulations. Graduation is a huge accomplishment. It's really the first step to what we hope is going to be a rewarding and meaningful career in environmental sciences. Thank you for showing your resilience, your adaptability, and your flexibility. And we thank you for learning despite all the challenges that were thrown your way. These are skills that will serve you very well as you enter your working career. So we hope that you can take those those to heart. And so let's celebrate. Uh, we wish that we could uh, have the circumstances where we could be uh, hosting you and your family and friends on, on marking this special occasion in this day. Uh, while it isn't possible this year, uh, please know that we salute you as this year's crop of environmental science graduates. So on behalf of the School of Environmental Sciences, I'd like to wish all of our graduates the very best and our heartfelt congratulations. Department of Environmental Sciences, 2020 graduates. Chase Campbell. Cassidy Goodyear. Kara Karst. Megan Krasinowski. Anupreet Kaur. Samantha Lezewick. Jamie Pratt. Alyssa Evashenko. 
Valerie Billadeau, Anurit Carr, Department of Environmental Sciences, 2021 graduates, Courtney Anderson, Bo Daniel Turco, Kira Jean Ursulin, Nathan Colford, Ethan Daryl Allen Grandison, Lauren Higginbotham, James Genvier, Justin Vance, Marvin Mark Warnicky, Brooke Ashley May Baxter, Megan Cargill, Zane Clemmer, Madeline Josie Maria Doucette, Avnit Carr, Samantha Renee Pankyu, Miles Passop, Lauren Deneen Skinner, Megan Stanley, Alexander John Ketza, Nikita Emily Darlene Lattery, Jasmine Preet Singh Bular, Sudhir Mawe, Mohammed Manpreet, J. Modi, Kushal Patel, Umang Kumar, Pankaj Kumar Patel, Vanayak Sadiv, Avnit Singh, Manpreet Singh, Laura Andrews, Amanda Ayers, Robert Alexander Garrett, Emily Kathleen Giesbrecht, Heather Higgins, Samantha Tori Hutchings, Rachel LaFrance, Carrie Lewis, Brady Locke, Sydney Kate Matthews, Krista Catherine E. Nashman, Sarah Pearson, Erica Allison Seabrook, Liam Stewart Smith, Haley Spurl, Riley Cole Steinhubel, Jess Vold. Congratulations, everyone. Wherever you are today, I hope you take the time to celebrate this momentous occasion, which is truly the start of a new chapter for our graduates. It's a significant milestone worthy of special recognition. We wish we could be together. This is the favorite part of my favorite part of the ceremony, where I ask you to stand, turn your tassels to the left, and where I get to introduce officially our new graduating class. Moving the tassels to the left is, a symbolic, is symbolic of crossing over to another stage of life. We hope it's a big stage for each of you. As the newest members of the Lakeland College family, I know you will do us proud. Making it thus far, you already have. Please allow me to welcome Elder Vina Flooney for a closing prayer. And once again, congratulations from all of us at Lakeland College. Let us pray to our Creator. We thank you, Creator, for the completion of another 
academic year and for giving us this opportunity. As our students chart new beginnings, help them to use all that they have learned in this time here at Lakeland College. Bless them all as they help make this world a better place for future generations. We are grateful for your love and guidance as we share in this important work. May they find bliss endeavor in their future endeavors and adventures with advanced degrees and credentials in hand. May they also seek the greater good. May they also conduct their life's work with exceptional skills and integrity from this day forward. We ask this all in your good and loving name, our Creator, the Great and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi, hi.